What's up guys? Tony Rican here and today I'm gonna have a little bit of fun throwing down making a bacon cheeseburger stromboli. You know exactly what this is, don't you? That's right. This is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out on my channel, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help the channel grow is just to like and share on this video. Drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way, every Monday and Friday, you get a brand new, really cool, simple recipe just like this bacon cheeseburger stromboli. Which to start, I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees. While that heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up a little bit of onion, Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my beef and that onion, throw it in a pan and get this broken up and browned. Once all the pink's cooked out, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic and some Worcestershire sauce. I'll let that go for a couple of minutes. We'll drain this and move on. I apologize, I forgot to say, I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and garlic powder to this also. With my filling cooked and my oven preheated, we're ready to finish this one off. I'm gonna go ahead, take my pizza dough, spread it out on a piece of parchment paper. I'm gonna go ahead, roll it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna take half my cheese, lay that in the bottom. Take our beef, add that over the cheese. Next, I'm gonna add some cooked and crumbled bacon. I'm gonna add some ketchup and mustard some chopped up pickle, my remaining cheese. Then I'm gonna carefully close this up. I'm gonna take the ends, fold them in, then fold the sides over to the middle. Then I went ahead, I flipped it over onto my baking sheet what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush some melted butter over the top. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of sesame seed on that. Then I'm gonna put a couple slits in the top and I'll pop this in my preheated oven for about 20, 25 minutes and this one is done. And that's it, guys, with that little bit of work, this cool twist on a stromboli is done. Just take a look at how this came out. It freaking looks awesome. It's got some great color. You can see all my cheese nice and melted. Everything in there looks great. But you know, we can't just look at this. I gotta go ahead and grab it and just dig right in. Boom, look at that. Mm. This. Is freaking awesome. You guys are gonna love this one. So go ahead, like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out averageguygourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even one dollar to help this content keep rolling out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this a try, and we'll see you guys next time.